guys, welcome to this week's video. My name is Ashley. And I'm Michelle. And today we're going to be talking about the 12 CHA rules of horse sense. Howdy, welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired here at the Bar SC. Rule number one, praise often, punish seldom. When training your horse, we wanna make sure that we praise the good that our horses do, and that way we're not having to punish when they do the wrong thing. The more that you praise the good, the less you'll have to punish the bad. Rule two, stop, look, and listen. Anytime we're around horses, it's important to be very aware, to stop, look around, notice what is in your environment, listen to instruction, if you've been paying attention, you might notice that I'm wearing Ashley's hat. Rule three, never stand directly in front of or behind your horse. Your horse is very good at seeing things around it, but directly in front of them and directly behind are blind spots. So we wanna make sure we're never directly beneath our horse's nose or straight behind them where they wouldn't be able to see us and know that we pose them no threat. Rule four, horses should never be hand fed. Using a bucket such as this one to feed treats to our horses is always a safer way to go. The reason for this is because fingers look like carrots and we never want to feed our fingers to our horse. Rule five, keep at least one horse length between your horse and the horse in front of you. Whether you're riding your horse in an arena, on trail, or just leading your horse from the barn to the pasture, you want to make sure you leave space. And this is so that the horse in front of you doesn't kick out at your horse or it's something behind it that scares it and accidentally catches you. So it's a big safety concern. Leave at least one horse length. Rule six, check your tack and equipment for proper fit and have your instructor double check it before you mount and ride. Some of the places that you need to especially check would be your bridle, how it fits in their mouth, the throat latch, Moving on to the saddle, definitely your cinch. Make sure it's nice and tight and perhaps a back cinch as well. Rule seven, always tie with a halter and lead rope, never tie with the reins. Our reins and our bridle are not intended for tying and will break or possibly injure our horse with a bit in their mouth if we tie up and our horse gets scared. We wanna tie with the proper equipment and only ever use our halter and lead rope. Rule eight, treat your equipment with care and put it away properly. Taking good care of our equipment and tack is extremely important because it's very expensive. If we take good care of it, it can last many years. It's really important to put it away properly because having our tack and equipment strewn all around our barn or in our riding areas can pose a big safety hazard. Rule nine, Never wrap or tie anything that's attached to your horse around any of your body parts. If we wrap our hands or anything else in our lead rope or our reins, it could be a very big safety hazard should our horse decide to move away or spook at something, we could become entangled and be drug behind our horse or have very serious injury. So we will never wrap or tie anything attached to our horse to us. Rule 10, listen and learn. When we're around horses, it's really important to eliminate any distractions that would keep us from being able to listen to instruction. We also need to have an open mind and be willing to take instruction from the people who are teaching us things. Don't assume that you know everything. Be willing to take what they say to you and to learn from that. Rule 11, make sure you always dismount before changing your clothing or checking your equipment. So if your helmet's uncomfortable, hop off first. Rule 12, wear appropriate clothing. If I'm riding, I'm gonna be wearing a helmet. If I'm just working around the barn, a wide brimmed hat will keep the sun off my face. Long sleeve shirts will help keep my skin out of the elements. Jeans are always a good idea. And boots. These are not boots. I need to go find my boots. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you all learned something new and exciting about the CHA Rules of Horse Sense. Please check out our CHA playlist for more Certified Horsemanship Association videos. We'll see ya! If you enjoy this video, we'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe and leave a comment about what you might like to see in future videos. We'll see ya back on the ranch.